This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up sports to the bone family? What's up? What's up? How are you guys doing? Alright, we have a couple of cricketing stories here that I want to share with you guys Brian Charles Laura Yes, my viewers and subscribers Brian Charles Laura has been signed by the Sunrisers Hyderabad You know, and they are bringing him in as part of a star-studded support staff for the IPL season of 2022 so we will be seeing Brian Charles Lara in IPL 2022 but not as a batsman though oh yeah man my viewers and subscribers are going to be sharing that with you plus the new T20 rankings are actually out and I'm going to be zooming in on the top 10 yeah man the top 10 and I'm also going to be zooming in on the top 10 batsmen in test cricket and Nicolas Spoor and he has moved up the T20 rankings just a little bit so gonna be talking about that but before we go down into all of that guys we are still on our way to 7k now we have been in the 6k bracket for quite some time and we want to get out of it so if you are listening to the channel and you have not yet subscribed just go right ahead and subscribe to the channel man turn on the post notification bell so you can get updated once we upload a video so I'm gonna be reading this for you guys and as usual you know I like to give my credit so this one is taken from the from the um from the the IPL website. Yeah man, there's an official IPL website and that is where I'm taking it from and it says Sunrisers Hyderabad bring in legendary West Indies batsman Brian Lara to be a part of the star studied support staff for their 2022 IPL campaign. So I'm just going to be reading a couple of lines from it and then we can talk some some um you know a little Sunrisers Hyderabad they have signed the legendary West Indies batsman and you know he will be their strategic advisor and batting coach well he's going to be a part of that team now this will be Lara's first major stint as a batting coach right who has um and they say who has over two um 22,000 international runs and is arguably considered as the best left-handed batter to grace the game these guys from India, you see, because it, it, it has to do with Lara, they don't want to say the best overall, no? they say the best left-handed batsman, so that means they would leave out their, their you-know-who. No, the franchise has also signed Simon Katic, yes, as the assistant coach. Former Indian cricketer um, Badani will have a dual role, a fielding coach and scout. All this is in addition to Dale Stain joining as team's bowling coach and added, um, yeah, they, they, they added. So Dale Stain, as we know, over the last year or so, he has been doing some um, commentary work. Um, I heard him, I think it was in the uh, in the CPL, if I'm not mistaken, I think I heard him. Um, yeah, man, and in the latter part of the IPL also, I think. I think I heard him doing some commentary work, but he's going to be, in his in in the role of um being play he's gonna be playing the role as bowling coach right so there you have it my viewers and subscribers Brian Charles Lara all right let, let me continue and see what's happening now they say the 2016 champions have however um retained um uh, Mothaya Merlitharan in their support staff the um the Sri Lanka legend will be their strategy um their strategy and spin bowling coach so you know um the, the, the spinners usually play an important role when it comes on to the IPL so Mothaya Merlitharan will be a part of that so it's good to see these guys these are all people that we would have grown up watching and from the moment we hear the name Brian Charles Lara man brings back so many memories you know um that memory mo well probably the most outstanding one would have been in what 2003 4 when he broke the, the world, world record for the final time you know I remember the commentator shouting out there it is new world record you know those sort of memories those memories will, will live on live on forever the only sad thing about it is that the last time we saw him at the international level didn't end too too well you understand he was in I think he was in the 2007 World Cup when he was um, batting with the icon and got and got run run out I think he was I think he was on about 18 
18 or so, you know, and he, he lost his wicket. That was the last um, time we saw the, the, the legend in an um, international game. But in terms of coaching, as the article said, it's the first time that he will be involved in any sort of coaching um, capacity since uh, since since you would have you, you would have retired so it's going to be very very interesting to see what what the big man um, how will will offer you know sunrise or hydra but they have a very very terrible a very very terrible um, campaign you know in the in the last IPL so it's it's going to be interesting to see how things work out my viewers and subscribers I want him to be successful you understand because this is how you 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 start a start you start off with some franchise team who to tell you know you might get a big offer from a team might not be West Indies but you might be at the franchise level for a couple of years and then you get a big offer to coach an international team because some people some coaches might want to coach internationally right but some coaches will look at the money that they will be getting from the IPL and they might match it up and say hear what even though international cricket is the pinnacle that's going to work with the IPL yeah man and you know it's, it's just one one time a year them deal with them thing and you know just make some money but um, when all is said and done my viewers and subscribers it's good to see the man you know um, being involved in this sort of in this sort of way all right, so quickly, guys, we're going to move on to... So that is the Brian Lara story. So we're going to be moving on to um, the, 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 the T20 batting ranking, right? And as I said, uh, the new rankings are actually out. And we see Evan Lewis. He is there on 15, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, man, Evan Lewis is there on 15. Uh, Nicholas Puran, he would have moved up a little and he is currently on 27 yeah man so nicholas puran moves up to 27 so it's very good to see him stepping up in the right direction you see my viewers and subscribers this is what we want you know we we want when the arm um, when the rankings come out then we see our players stepping in the right direction um having said that i am aware that a lot of teams um you know not playing games right now but uh, a move up is a move up and as I said Evan Lewis stays at, at 15 so let me just give you guys the top 10 real quick so at 10 they have Martin Guptill the, the hard hitter from New Zealand uh, Russin van der Dusen is at 9 Just Butler is at 8 you know at, um, at, at, at 7 they have Devon Conway the New Zealand at 6 they have Aaron Finch the Australian Right and at five, Lokish um, Raul. We know how, how good Raul is. Um, Aiden Markham is at four. Yeah, man, Aiden Markham doing his thing. At five, at uh, sorry, at four is Aiden Markham. At three, they have Mohamed Rizwan. And you know, Mohamed Rizwan, if he continues um, in the vein of form that he has been in recently, then we know he's going to eventually finish at the top. Right, uh, Mohamed, based on what I'm seeing here, um, da David Mel Malan, yeah, man, David Malan is still up there and he's uh, he's there at at thing there. And um, Barbara Zam is is up there also. So, those are the names that round it off. Um, David Malan and Barbara Zam, they are on um, what, 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 what's the rating? Well, based on what I'm seeing here, both of them on 805. Yeah man, both of them on 805 So I guess, um, you know, those two are right up there Nick and Nick as they would say So, yeah, that, that is it my viewers and subscribers In terms of the T20 cricket You know, people like A um, couple of big names like Bearstow And um, people like um, Mohamed Nabi, David Warner Those guys are down in the 20s you know, gone are the days when we, when we would see the West Indies names dominating. You know, usually we would see the Chris Gale up there. You know, maybe people like Pollard, um, Russland, those guys. But oh, if we waste any time talk, them, them people are not really consistent, yeah, man. All right, so the, the final thing that I want to talk about, my viewers and subscribers, is the ICC men's test batting rankings. And as you can imagine, no West Indies batsman is even anywhere close. So if you are just here to listen or to hear about West Indies, you will not hear anything about any West Indies in, in this top 10. I think it was about last week or week before last I did a video and I spoke about the West Indies batsmen that moved up. Um, I think it was in Kuma Banner that moved up a little bit. Craig Brathwaite um, I think moved up one slot in the test. But 
you know, the, 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 um, this top 10 was posted on the 22nd of, um, you know, of December. So we're going, we're going to look at it and see what's happening here. All right. So, um, as you can imagine, the ashes is going on. So a couple of the guys would have gotten a chance to sort of up their thing. So at number 10, we have Travis Head. Right. At number nine, Barbara Azam is there. At number eight, Karat Naratni is there. At number seven, Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli just keeps on going down and down and down, you know. David Warner is there at six. At five, Roy Sharma is there. Kane Williamson is also there. So you see, guys, look at Roy Sharma. These guys can bat, you know, so it can be done. These guys are there and there about in T20, in ODI, in, in Test Cricket. You understand? Roy Sharma is there. Um, Kane Williamson is there at four. Steve Smith is at three. Joe Root is at two. And the new Mr. Cricket is on top of the world at one. Marnus Lamashade. Right? So those are the, the, the guys. Solid top four there, my viewers and subscribers. With Marnus at one. Joe Root at two. Steve Smith at three. Kane Williamson at four. That is a solid um, top four. You understand? So those are the players that make it in my viewers and subscribers. So that is basically it. Just wanted to hop on and share these little stories with you guys. And just going to say to you all, have a wonderful rest of the day. And, you know, we are hoping to go live pretty soon. You know, uh, the Christmas break is coming up. Well, Christmas Day, New Year's Day. You don't know how that go. Might be a case where I just take a one or a two day to spend some time with the family and kind of give the internet thing and, and the West Indies thing a break. You understand? If it's even Christmas Day and, and, and New Year's Day to do some circle around and check up some family and things. So if you guys see me missing for a one or two day, I am still here. You understand? We just, you just know the thing. So yeah, man, just enjoy. And as I said, if you made it to the end of the video and you have not yet subscribed, consider subscribing now. Because you know it go. Once you get the information, or read the information to you, give you the opinion that I have on it and just leave it right there. Big up on yourself. I'm out.